While you don't really need to worry about capital costs in the cloud, your operational costs can quickly get out of hand if you don't have proper monitoring in place. And one of the easiest tools to assist with monitoring are resource tags, but tagging can be sometimes hard to enforce. Adopting an effective tagging strategy for your AWS resources is an essential component for governance in the cloud. Now, tags are essentially key value pairs that are assigned to resources, and they can be used for a variety of situations, such as tracking resource usage and costs, restricting access through IAM, and implementing future automation routines. In order to effectively use tags, AHEAD recommends that you establish tagging baselines for common tags across resources, that you implement tag enforcement through auditing and automation, and that you utilize AWS CloudFormation, or Terraform, that can automatically tag resources upon deployment. Now today, I'd like to walk you through a quick demonstration of how we use automation for resource tagging here in AHEAD's lab using AWS Lambda. So here we are in the AWS Lambda console. I'd like to do a quick overview of our function. If you're not familiar with Lambda, it essentially provides for serverless compute in the cloud. All you have to do is write your code and Lambda will go ahead and run it. You don't need to worry about the provisioning of any servers. But every Lambda function needs a trigger. And in our case, we're looking for CloudWatch events that are emitted whenever a resource is created. So let's take a quick look at the code. If we go towards the bottom of our function, we'll see here we have our Lambda handler, which takes in the CloudWatch event as an argument. And the specific resources we're looking for include EC2 instances, RDS, S3, KMS, and VPCs. So let's say someone creates a KMS key. If I go back towards the top of our function, we'll see there's two items we're looking for in the CloudWatch event. That includes the user identity and the principal ID. This will tell us who created the resource or who the owner is. And we have many people working in our lab, testing and developing solutions for clients. So you can imagine if we don't know who owns which resources, it could potentially get out of hand. So the next step in our function is to check if an owner tag has already been placed. If it has, our function will exit and return none. If it has not, our function will go ahead and apply the owner tag using the values we found in the CloudWatch event. And that's pretty much it as far as the function goes. As you can see, we repeat similar steps for the other resources. And that's it. Now let's move over to the EC2 console and see the Lambda function in action by launching a new instance. So for our EC2 instance, we'll keep things very simple for demo purposes. We use an Amazon Linux 2 AMI and essentially stick with all the default settings. Now you'll see here, I'm not going to add any tags when creating the resource. We'll use a default security group. And we don't need a key pair since we won't be logging into the instance. And that's it. You can see our instance is being launched. Let's go ahead and take a look. If I go to tags, you'll see the owner tag has been placed and it includes my information. So if anybody has any questions on this instance, they know exactly who to reach out to. Now this is just one way in which you can use automation to enforce tagging. You can develop an automation solution tailored to your company's needs, and you can use other tools such as CloudFormation or Terraform, like we mentioned before. And if monitoring resource costs or usage and efficiency is a pain point for your organization, Contact AHEAD today, and we can help assist in creating an effective tagging strategy, as well as help your organization succeed in overall governance in the cloud.